Hey guys, welcome to a new video this week. My name is Becca, if you're new here, and if you are, welcome to my channel. Today we're just going to be creating a plant care log, and sometimes I forget to water my plants, sometimes I forget when I watered my plants, and this just makes it a whole lot easier to keep track of how you're taking care of your plants. And it'll make things a lot easier when you see something's wrong with your plant and you can look back at what you've been doing for your plant, how your plant has been looking throughout the week, just so you can see the progress of your plant and it'll give you a better idea of how to take care of your plant. So I enjoy doing this and I know a lot of people just like to feel organized and a little bit more in control of their plants just because plants can get a little out of control and randomly die. So it's better to just see what you've been doing. I hope you guys get use out of this list as well. And if you are new here, I hope you go ahead and hit the subscribe button just so you can come back and hang out with us every single week. And for everybody, um, if you like plants, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and let me know that maybe I'll go ahead and make more plant videos. But with all of that, we can go ahead and get into the video. Alright you guys, this plant care log is just going to be for the next upcoming week for me, which is June 20th through the 26th. So. I'm just going to go ahead and put two of the care logs on one paper and then I'll go ahead and just put the other logs on the back of the paper and then a new paper, but they'll all be for the week of 620 to 626. So first, um, I'm always going to put the date just so I know which day that all of this happened and which plant that I took care of that day. And I don't always water or take care of every single plant every day. It's just different based on each plant. So you won't have to make a log for every single plant every single day. Because if you have a lot of plants, that would be a lot of work. And then also if you want to do all of this and then just like scan it into your computer or copy it onto another paper, you can totally do that too so that you don't have to draw it out every single time. But I like to draw because I have a lot of markers and why not use my markers that I actually bought? So the top of the paper says watered and I just put a yes or a no and that's just if I watered that plant that day just so I know and I can always look back to see when the last time I watered that plant was and I, you might be wondering why wouldn't you water your plant if you're putting a log? And if I wanted to, if I noticed something wrong on my plant, I could just put in a log just to give myself an update of how my plant is looking, how my plant, what, what was happening to my plant in that day, basically. So for example, I could have fertilized my plant but not watered it. I could have saw something wrong with my plant and just wanted to mark down how the light was that day and see maybe if I can look back and see how the light actually really affects my plants. This is just definitely for people who really like to get to know their plants and understand taking care of their plants and what certain things do to, do to their plants. But I have watered and then I have light and it says full sun, bright, indirect light and then part sun and shade so i would just mark whichever one hit that day and then i have fertilized did i fertilize it yes or no and then if i didn't water it what was the soil dryness like was it still really wet because i watered it yesterday was it getting drier but doesn't need water yet or was it really really dry and yes i watered it today 
And then the last box says health, and I put new growth, leaf loss, browning, and then the next one is going to be yellowing, and then any pests that I see. And I wrote a little line to see if I mean I know what pest it is, I might as well write it down just so that later on, if I continuously see the same pest, then I should be able to look back and see maybe what I'm doing in order to bring these pests or just let myself know, oh, I've had these pests before, I know how to handle it. So that's one complete log that you would just do in one day for one plant. And that's why I'm saying that you can totally copy this onto another paper through a printer, through your computer or whatever. Because if you don't want to write all of these logs, that's completely fine. But I kind of just enjoy decorating and coloring with my marker. So I went ahead and just redid it myself. So again, did you water your plant? What was the light like today? Did you fertilize it today? How dry was the soil or wet? And then the health. And all of these things just help you understand your plant and how you can better take care of it. so much for watching this video and if you are new here and you did enjoy this video don't forget to hit the subscribe button and come back to hang out with us next week and if you want go ahead and leave a comment down below just saying hi and I would love to say hello back and for everybody else don't forget to give this video a thumbs up letting me know that you love plants and maybe I'll make more plant videos but I hope you guys have a great day, a great weekend, whatever day it is for you guys, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.